Thank you so much for joining me today. In this clip, I would like to inv invite you to join me in prayers. Matthew chapter 16 from verse 15. He, Jesus, said unto them, his disciples, But whom say you that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven our father and our God we pray that you will open our eyes to see Jesus. Paul said, when it pleased the Lord to reveal his son in me, Lord, we pray for ourselves as individuals. I pray for myself. I pray for my brothers and sisters that are listening to me this moment. I pray for the church in our city. I pray for the church in our nation. The Lord Jesus said, Whom who whom say you that I am? Lord, we pray that you will reveal Jesus to us. That we will know him not as a story. That we will know him not at, as a poster. But Lord, that you, you will bring us to an experience, a now experience of Jesus. Lord, the great king. They came to Andrew and Philip and they said, Sir, we will see Jesus. We want to see him. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will bring us to a place of knowing. That Lord will bring us to a place where we know him, not just about him, O oh God. The Lord Jesus said here in Matthew that flesh and blood has not revealed this to you lord we thank you for the flesh and the blood for the pastors for the teachers for the evangelists for the prophets for the apostles but lord ultimately you are the revealer of secrets lord it takes god to reveal god lord we've been studying jesus that he is the gospel but lord we know that it is impossible for us to know him indeed unless you reveal him. The Lord Jesus said, No man knows the Father except the Son. And no man knows the Son except the Father. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will reveal him to us. Lord, the truth is the way. Reveal him as the way. He is the truth. Reveal him as the truth. He is the life. Reveal him as life. Lord, we pray that as we study your word, the Lord Jesus said, study the scripture. They are they that speak about me. Lord, let your word become a life. Let us come to know him even as we study. Even as we read your word, as we meditate upon your word, as we study it, as we share it with one another lord we pray that your holy spirit the lord jesus said that when he the spirit of truth is come he shall take of what is mine and he shall reveal it unto you precious holy spirit you are the spirit of truth reveal the truth reveal him to us revealing him to us like you did to peter peter said you are the christ the son of the living god Lord, let's come let us all come to a place as the church let us come to a place where we know him 
and that we can declare by revelation that he is the Christ, that he is the son of the living God. Lord, that it will not just be by repeating what other people have said, but because we've come to know him, that because we've come to experience him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, even as we come to know him progressively, as we come to know Jesus as the Lord, that Lord, we will come to 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 operate the the keys of your kingdom that will begin to open and will begin to shut even as by your spirit in the name of jesus lord paul said once again that when he pleases you to reveal him lord reveal christ to your church once again lord bring us to a fresh understanding bring us to a fresh experience of your son in the name of Jesus. Act chapter 19, verse 8. And he, Paul, went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. Verse 9. But when divers were hardened, and believe not, but speak evil of that way before the multitude, it departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwell in Asia had the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greek. Verse 11, and God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. We are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we read here how your hand was mighty upon Paul. But Lord, we know that you are not a respecter of persons. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will revive once again in our heart in your church the central message of the gospel lord we read that paul was disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of god lord i pray you will restore once again to your church the gospel of your kingdom that by revelation that lord you will anoint your ministers and you will anoint your church to return back to preaching this message. Lord, what does it mean? Lord, reveal the truth to us. Lord, the boldness to preach it. The anointing to preach and to teach this gospel of your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Paul spake boldly. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will grant unto your church once again the grace to seek your face. To seek your face so that we can come to know this truth. And Lord, grant us the boldness, anoint us to be able to minister this word in power and in glory. That Paul speak boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of god father in the name of jesus the grace to be able to present your word clearly the grace to be able to present your word with conviction with power lord grant unto each and every one of us and your church in this city father in the name of jesus paul preached to his city but there was a message and lord the bible says that by the space of two years, all they that dwell in Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greek. Lord, anoint your church in my city. Lord, anoint us powerfully so that our city, just like Ephesus, just like the, the, mine, the Asia Minor in those days, heard the word. Anoint your church in my city. Anoint me. Anoint my, my brothers and sisters. Lord, 
reveal the truth to us and that your church will arise with this revelation and affect our cities and affect our nations in the name of Jesus that your word will increase in your church that your word will prevail in our city revive your word in the church and that the church may affect the land with the truth in the name of Jesus that just like in Asia the whole area the people they that dwell in Asia they had the word of the Lord Jesus both Jews and Greek not just the church people even the unbelievers Lord in our land Lord in our city Lord in our nation Lord we pray that your word will come true to your church afresh that you will af you will anoint your vessels afresh to bring a fresh word from your presence that you will restore the glory of your gospel to your church the message of your gospel you will restore to your church that it will affect the body of Christ afresh oh God and through the body it will be taken out into the Greek into the nations Lord in the name of Jesus and and God wrought special miracle by the hand of Paul. Lord, you said in your word that you wash over your word to perform it. And you were walking with the disciples, confirming the word. Lord, we pray, oh God, that even as you restore your gospel to your church, that the miracle power of your spirit will be made manifest. That just like in Ephesus, just like in the region of Asia, that as we minister your word, that there will be sign following. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Father, in the name of Jesus, raise Philip in our land. Make me a Philip, O God. Make my hearer a Philip. Anoint us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Reveal Christ afresh to us so that like Philip, we may preach him to our city. We may preach him to our family. We may preach him to our friends. We may preach him to the, our world and to our city and to our nation. Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Lord, you've sent us to the city of the West to the city of the east, to the city of the north, and to the city of the south, to our city. Lord, help us. Help us. We cannot preach him except we know him, that I may know him. Father, we will see Jesus. Lord, we desire, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you will create in us an hunger, a desire that cannot be satisfied except by him. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Philip, preach Christ unto them. Lord, deliver us from every other thing that has, has distracted us. Lord, every, every wool and stables, things that will not survive fire, things that are not necessary, that we've been busy in ourselves with as a church, as individuals. Lord, deliver us. Lord, bring us to the one thing that is needful. You told matter. You said, matter, you are distracted, Lord. Every, every doctrine that has distracted us, every doctrine that has engaged our attention, that has taken us away from that which is the one thing that is needful, Lord, forgive us. And Lord, bring us back, begin to raise men and women in our city, in our nation, in our churches, in our schools, in our workplace, on the street, in the marketplace. Begin to raise men and women, young and old, oh God, that will begin to seek this gospel, that will begin to preach this gospel in power, in glory to the land, in the name of Jesus. And Philip preached Christ unto them. And the people will, 
with one accord gave heed unto those things which Felix spake. Lord, we pray that in the days of your power, your people will be willing. That first of all, Lord, you will help us to will and to do of your own good pleasure. Lord, that you will help our heart, O oh God, to be able to seek you, to be able to seek your word, to be able to seek your word in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as we begin to bring him and preach him to our land, and bring him and preach him to our congregation, Lord, we pray, O oh God, you will open our eyes of understanding that we may see him, that the land will open up that your wall will increase and prevail and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which philip spake lord as your word comes oh god lord help us help us to be to submit to your word in the name of jesus help the land oh god to submit to your word in the name of jesus the people get gave heed unto those things which philip speak hearing and seeing the miracle lord help us to hear you said let him that have hear ears lord help us to hear help us to listen help us to receive lord in the name of jesus like you have this this the, the, the samarians lord help us in the name of jesus both to hear and to see the wisdom and the power of god in your word first thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. Father, we pray, O oh God, that your gospel will come to your church afresh. Let your gospel come to me. Let your gospel come once again to my brothers and my sisters not only in letters, not only in the, in the oratory of men, not only in word, but Lord, we pray that you will visit us again through your word, that the gospel will come once again in power, once again in the Holy Ghost, and once again in much assurance, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your word, that as you restore your gospel to your word, to your church, Father, that it will come in power. We will, we will experience his power. Lord, we will experience the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your ministers, upon your oracles, upon your church. Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, there will be joy in the city. Just like there was joy in, in Samaria. Just like there was joy and miracle in Ephesus. Lord, as you restore your, your gospel, Lord, let your church experience power. Let our city experience joy in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be great assurance. Let there be great performance by your spirit in the name of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God, which you had of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the grace to receive your word lord we need grace we need help lord we need help in the pulpit we need help in the pew father god the grace and the help from above to receive your word not as the word of a man not as the doctrine of a denomination no 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 not but as it is indeed and as it is in truth the word of god lord lift your word once again you have exalted your word above your name once again restore the glory of the preaching of your word unto your church lord that your people will begin to receive your word not as the word of a man 
not as the word of men not as the word of a denomination but as the word of god that we will begin to experience in our life the effective and effectual working of your word by your spirit cleansing us equipping us directing us lord anointing us afresh to do the work of the ministry in jesus name second thessalonians chapter 3 from verse 1 finally brethren pray for us finally my brother finally my sister let us pray that the word of the lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you father in the name of jesus i pray i pray with my brother i pray with my sister that your word will have free course in our life as individual Lord, whatever it is that is hindering whatever it is that is distracting us from seeking the truth from knowing the truth lord deliver us forgive us oh god let your word have free course in our life in our home lord whatever the challenges are whatever the obstacles are lord let them be removed in the name of jesus let your light shine into our darkness let your answer visit with our question lord that we may be delivered that we may have peace in our body so that we may not be distracted so that we may focus on jesus lord in the name of jesus verse 2 and that we be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith but the lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil he will deliver us in the name of jesus whatever it is that is distracting us that is hindering us that is stopping us from fulfilling from seeking god with our heart lord you will deliver us in the name of jesus from every challenge from every oppression from every affliction lord in the name of jesus lord lord that you will visit with us you will correct us you will discipline us you will prune us oh god you will help us to seek that which is truth in the name of jesus the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen praise the lord